All right, Shalawan, Yasha Allah. I want to start off by giving all praise and honor and glory to Yahweh, Bashim Yahweh, Bashim Rokha Kadash. Double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone. Salutations to you, brothers, to the four corners of the earth, preaching this word and also on laboring in this word of truth, love, and sincerity. And also, Shalawan to you, sincere listeners. This is the book of 2 Corinthians 2, verse 11. And it reads, Lest Satan should get an advantage of us, for we are not ignorant of his devices. And we know Esau, Edom, the so-called white man, right? He is the physical counterpart of Satan on the earth. He does the bidding of Satan. His works, right, is after Satan, man. And we know that one of his main devices that he's using now is the RFID chip, which we know is the mark of the beast. Whether it's the NFC or whatever abbreviation they try to come up with we know that is the mark of the beast okay and we know that that's in their plans in their new world order plans that they want to chip all people and this is a heavy prop this is a heavy prophecy that has to be talked about man okay this is not a light thing because if you take the chip you're finished i repeat if you take the mark of the beast you are finished you're going to be destroyed man there's no get no way that you're going to be able to get out of that if you take the chip and we know that through all the different uh deceivable works that esau is putting out there whether it be you know the, the fashionable trend of trying to get people to take the chip you know whether it's trying to make people uh, uh conform to it by any means Hey, the men of the Lord, right? The, the elect, we're not ignorant of Satan's devices, man. No matter how or which way he tries to push and, and put it, that we're not going to take the chip. Okay? So let's read this again and go. Uh, let's read this again and then move on to the next uh, scripture. 2 Corinthians 2, verse 11, it says, Lest Satan should get an advantage of us, for we are not ignorant of his devices. Okay, and we're not ignorant of his device that he wants to push on all people, man. Which is the RFID microchip, the mark of the beast. Okay, these are his plans. Now I want to jump here real fast to prove a statement I just made. Second Thessalonians two. I think I want to get to the point. It says, "I'll start at seven. It says, "For the mystery of iniquity do have already work." Only he who now letteth will let until he be taken out of the way. And then shall that wicked be revealed whom the Lord shall consume with the spirit of his mouth and shall destroy with the brightness of his coming. And the wicked has been revealed, man. The wicked is Esau Edom, the so-called white man. Okay, and the Lord right now is consuming him with the spirit of his mouth, which is the prophets on the highways and byways, speaking the word, speaking his words. And shall destroy with the brightness of his coming. Even him whose coming is after the working of Satan with all power and signs and lying wonders. So like I mentioned to you before, Esau Edom, the so-called white man, his coming, is, his coming is the working after Satan, man. Okay? He does the bidding of Satan. That's why I said he's the physical counterpart of Satan on the earth. Let's read that again. Verse 9, it says, Even him whose coming is after the working of Satan with all power and signs and lying wonders. Right? Now, part of these lying wonders is, you know, to make it seem like uh, the mark of the beast or, or the chip, right? Which is the mark of the beast? It's just some new type of technology that you could just take, okay? That's a lying wonder because they're making it seem like, look, hey, take this chip. You know, this is going to benefit you more. This is more convenient. But yet, do these people not, yet these people don't know is they're taking the mark of the beast, man. That ultimately the so-called white man wants to have total control over you and to ultimately destroy you whenever he feel needs be. Okay, because when you take that chip, he has total control. He wants to have power over life and death. Okay. 
Verse 10, it says, and with all deceivableness of unrighteousness and them that perish because they receive not the love of the truth that they might be saved. Um, so that's the point, you know, just going into the, uh, you know, letting you letting you see that, hey, the so-called white man. His coming is after the working of Satan, man. So he's going to be doing the things on the earth. OK. And what does Satan mean? Satan goes back to the word uh basically it's a uh, basically like you're like the adversary you're a opposer of the most high you know that ties right in you know what let's let's just get it for the edification's sake because devil means deceiver let's go to the word satan which is in the greek is satanas so what was he at Okay, here we go. Satan, Satanus, in the Greek is G4567. It says, the adversary, one who opposes another in a purpose or act, the name given to the prince of evil spirits to intervert the adversary. Um, <clears throat> that's the point. So, A, hey, you know, uh, it's the one who opposes a, another in a purpose or act, man. Right, and he's the, uh, he's the opposition of Yahabashim Yahushah and his men. Okay, he's the uh, opposition of righteousness. Now let's go to B. It says a Satan like man. And we know that Esau Edom is a Satan like man. Showing you that he's the physical counterpart of Satan doing his doing his works on the earth. Alright, so let's go back. Um no, you know what? For the lack of time, let's just go to the point. Let's go to the scripture dealing with the mark of the beast. Revelation 13, verse 16, and it says, I'll start at 15. And he had power to give life unto the image of the beast, which we know that this is the system, man. Okay? That the image of the beast shall both speak and cause that as many as would not worship the image of the beast should be killed. Right. And if you're not trying to bow down to their society, their way of life, they're going to try to kill you. OK. And it says. And he causes all both small and great, rich and poor, free and bond to receive a mark in their right hand or in their foreheads and that no man might buy or sell, save he that had the mark or the name of the beast or the number of his name so once again as you see man he he his new world agenda he wants to cause all okay all people you know, whether you're a celebrity whether you're poor whether you're uh, incarcerated he wants to have total control over all the people okay he wants to have everyone uh, bow, bow down to him to be under him. That's why it says. And he causes all. As who is he? Esau Edom. The so called white man. Alright. And that no man might buy or sell. Save he that had the mark. Or the name. Or the beast. Or the number of his name. So you're not going to be able to do. Things in society. As a norm. Because everything is going to be. Into that. Uh, into that technology. Technological fashion. Where it's going to be all geared towards the chip. And you see it now. When you go to these different stores. You got all these different checkout lines. More and more. And saying cashless. Pay yourself. Apple pay. Uh, uh, credit or debit card. With the chip. You know. Because they're all positioning it. And making it. Whereas everything's going to be geared towards the chip. Right. And the system of the chip. You know. The market of beast system. Revelation 14, verse 9, it said, this reads, it says, And the third angel followed them, saying with a loud voice, If any man worship the beast and his image, and receive his mark in his forehead or in his hand, the same shall drink of the wine of the wrath of the Most High, which is poured out without mixture into the cup of his indignation. And he shall be tormented with fire 
and brimstone in the presence of the holy angels in the presence of the lamb and the smoke of their torment is ascended up forever and ever and they have no rest day or night who worship the beast and his image and whosoever received the mark of his name so hey there you have it if you take the chip you're going to be destroyed there's no way out of it man okay you're going to drink that wine of the wrath of the most high which is poured, poured without mixture so if you ever drink, have some uh, something strong drink and there's nothing to mix with it it's strong you know so that's how it's going to come down on you if you take the chip you finished